Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's a multi-million deal that has been in the works for several years and would rebuild or repair Guam campuses beginning with Simon Sanchez High School. But continued delays stemming from protests from opposing bidder Cortec International aren't only leaving community members frustrated, they could also lead to financial consequences. Phil Flores is the director of the Guam Educational Facilities Foundation, the company slated to win the $100 million contract. Our finance is wrapped around some uh, federally guaranteed funds uh, and they're subject to market and those rates could go up if, it, if the project is delayed much longer. Guest Vice President of Development and Construction Sean Easter says Cortex's latest protest is a delay tactic which puts interest rates of 2.75 percent at risk. Gov Guam could stand to lose upwards of 20 million dollars in interest alone if the rates go up. He said interest is a deal's single biggest expense. So far, the project has already been pushed back by several months due to a string of protests by Cortec International, two of which have been denied by the Department of Public Works, which called them without merit and frivolous. The latest appeal is under consideration by the Office of Public Accountability and could halt the deal for at least another month. Time Simon Sanchez High School doesn't have following recent inspections by public health, which determined that if outstanding violations are not addressed by the fall, portions of the school could be closed off to students. What does that translate into? It translates into another school year at Simon Sanchez in the old dilapidated building. Easter said GEF specializes in building new school facilities. That are designed for education as opposed to taking a set of 50-year-old barracks and converting them to a high school. He is referring to Cortex's $250 million deal with Gov Guam to purchase the Teeson property used for Teeson High School and other facilities. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz has publicly criticized the Teeson deal and recently wrote to Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson questioning whether it could be terminated or modified. Cruz said what started as a low-impact tax credit deal to alleviate overcrowding has led to a purchase that was negotiated behind closed doors. The new deal requires $10 million in annual cash payments at 10% interest, just as Gov Guam faces a financial crunch. It's a horrible deal. We should have just stayed on the lease and um, built new schools and then walked away from this without having to pay $250 million over the next 40 years. KUAM reached out to Cortec attorney Joyce Tang for comment on the appeal, but she has yet to respond. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.